Welcome to another enlightening episode of the NABH Quality Indicator series. Today, we're delving into a crucial aspect of healthcare, infection control. We focus on a critical aspect of healthcare quality. So, let's jump right in. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our informative content. Let's get started. In this video, we will learn about the infection control related quality indicator. Quality indicator number 8, ventilator associated pneumonia rate, VAP. Indicator type, outcome related. Definition, ventilator associated pneumonia, VAP, is a lung infection that develops in a patient who has been on a ventilator for more than 48 hours. VAP is the second most common infection in the intensive care unit, ICU. It is the most common infection in mechanically ventilated patients. Ventilator-associated pneumonia is the second most common hospital-acquired infection among pediatrics and neonatal intensive care unit patients. Source of the data, patient medical record and VAP incidence report. Indicator monitored by or responsible person, infection control nurse. The formula is numerator, number of ventilator-associated pneumonia in a given month. Denominator, total number of ventilator days in that month. Into 100, sample size, not applicable. Explanation, in VAP culture report is must to ascertain the case. Ventilator-associated pneumonia, VAP, is a serious infection that can occur in patients who are on mechanical ventilation. It is one of the most common hospital-acquired infections and it can lead to increased length of stay, higher costs, and even death. VAP is a serious infection that can have a significant impact on patient outcomes. The NABH quality indicator for VAP rate is a measure of how well a hospital is preventing this infection. Hospitals can reduce their VAP rates by implementing a ventilator bundle, educating staff on VAP prevention measures, and conducting regular VAP surveillance. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay committed to providing the best care possible.